So we got a new Honest trailer from Screen Junkies and this one's for the movie Morbius. Now this movie had a lot of issues so I definitely kind of want to see what they're going to do with this video. So with that being said, let's go. Alright, this is going to be good. Let's go. In 2020, we got our first taste of Morbius. Mm -hmm. But after a short delay... A long delay, <laughs> a medium-sized delay, Dude, so many delays. a little baby delay, and one more big fat delay for good measure. Audiences everywhere are demanding. Stop playing the f Morbius trailer every time I see a film. In two years. <laughs> Stop playing the Morbius at your service. No. Ah. Morbius. There we go. Meet Michael Morbius, a doctor living with a serious challenge. Being Jared Leto, <laughs> his search for a cure will take him from the Cave of Wonders to his much hidden, very secret experiments. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. To sucking eight guys dry on a boat while his girlfriend is asleep. <laughs> Doesn't count, babe. We're in international waters. <laughs> Jared Leto plays a misunderstood genius who's way too cool to accept the Nobel Prize. American scientist rejects the Nobel Prize. So, of course, he thinks this character is based on his real persona. There's something, uh... Oh, man. Uh, ...quite nice about that and the intimacy of sharing who you are uh, with... with with audiences. <laughs> Once he mixes bad with man, he'll get all the things you'd expect except COVID, like sonar. His powers were cool, I'll admit that. Bad abs. Hollow little bones. And the ability to like force push bats at your enemies with <laughs> your mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. His powers were cool. Are we sure these are bad things? But these powers come with a catch. Now he's thirsty for blood. And instead of eating animals that actual bats eat, yep. he'll go straight for human juice, forcing us to watch him go to town on a blood bag every few minutes of screen time. <laughs> yeah. This part was so... That's not even blood. No, That's like something else. Like I found over the, the Capri Suns. But Mikey won't more alone. Meet a supporting cast whose backstory got cut for time. Yeah. Like Tyrese, a bland FBI agent whose robot arm only appears in the trailer. In my opinion, <laughs> he's Jax. Marty, <laughs> a doctor that. whose only interesting aspect gets punted to the sequel. That I don't get. And that was dumb. a child Morbius puts into a coma and never visits again. We have to reduce the color. Oh, she's feeling better. And wow. Jared Harris, a skilled thespian who lends the bill much needed grunt. And he's dead. Watch Man. the Dr. Morbo take on the 11th Dr. Milo. Matt Smith acting with the freedom of someone who realizes they're in a train wreck. So they might as well have some fun while it goes <laughs> totally off the rails. <laughs> that was a meme. <laughs> Oh, it's like a when these vamps are on the hunt, the PG-13 action is so mild, they won't even bother to show it. But yeah, these two that was weird. These finally collide, strap in for effects so honest, it looks like they added stink lines to everyone to drive home how crappy it looks. <laughs> I mean, his, his powers look cool. Yep. Enjoy Sony's latest attempt to suck every last drop of legally approved continuity from the MCU. That was like how that I never Google? got. Yeah, that's no, no, there you go. Maybe a Venom reference. He's in both verses now, right? Well, we haven't had anything this good since that thing in San Francisco. Hey, look, it's the villain from two Spider-Mans ago. That doing anything for you? No. What if that was a stupid post credit scene. Made him read a script from Bryce over in marketing. I'm not sure how I got here. Has to do with Spider-Man, I think. I'm still figuring this place out, but I think a bunch of guys like us should team up. You know, I never thought that this is Katana, she's got my back, could be topped, but bravo, Mr. Keaton. Bravo. Wow. <laughs> Starring. Subway Jared. <laughs> Subway Jared. Tyrese's Polices. Count White Chocula. Mm. Hi, Dr. Nick. 
Not another Martine movie. I'm not sure how he got here. Has to do with Spider-Man, I think. He's still figuring this place out. But I think guys like them should team up. <laughs> and I read the whole quote. We'll make tendies for dinner. <laughs> Man, so much rolling. I'm starting to get hungry. And you don't want to see me when I'm hungry. Shitty, <laughs> shitty, bang, bang. <laughs> you know, I hate to say it, but W was way ahead of the Morbius threat. Tonight, I ask you to pass legislation to prohibit the most egregious abuses of medical research, creating a human animal hybrids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sucked, but oh man, that random George Bush reference. Um, people for, people forget like George Bush was funny as like when he was president. But um, yes, that was the honest trailer for Morbius. Um, yes, lots of issues with this movie. That stupid post credit of I don't get what was the point of it. Um, I this this movie alone just tells me like the uh, Sony still hasn't learned anything from him, the Amazing Spider Man two. Them trying to create a universe, it's it's gonna it's gonna fall flat on its face. I have no hope for Craven. I have no hope for Madam Web. I'm not even a fan of the Venom movies, so whenever Venom three comes out, like it most likely will suck. The only thing good thing they have going on is like the um, Into the Spider Verse movie, uh, but that's it. But so we'll see we'll see how this um how this franchise sets uh, how this universe sets up without Spider Man. I'm still kind of hoping that like, Andrew Garfield returns and, like, and he's like he's like the main Spider Man for this universe, but you never know what's gonna happen. But guys, leave your comments below, like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Sean underscore. Check out.